I always had an imagination A wild fascination Cowboys and such I always wanted a Schofield And a buckskin horse A lot of bullets And lungs full of dust Well I'd sleep in the desert With all the bad weather Use my knife to dig a Hey guys, I just want to do a walkthrough with you on this new boat I just built for myself. Um, it looks a whole lot like my blue one does, with just a, do, did with just a few modifications. One was how I did the console. As you can see, I've got a little bit more aerodynamic bass boat style console on this hull and a nice wraparound seat. Now this wrap seat allows me to lift up the bolster and stand here and drive like this if I need to. Or what I really like better about it is it allows me to slide this seat all the way up and put my feet on the footrest here and drive it just like I'm driving a car. Really nice setup. I really like it. I find myself driving sitting down in this boat more than I do standing up because I'm actually elevated and almost as high as I am standing. Not, not as quite, but almost. A um, couple of the things I did in this boat right here, I have a live well in this back bench live well goes up underneath here so it's plenty enough for it's 30 inches long you can put a 27 inch red crappie bait whatever you need to in that then I have some dry box steps that go from here to the front deck that allows you to walk up to the front deck walk anywhere you need to around the whole front deck and come back down again or I could have kept walking on the catwalks to the back deck um, but the steps themselves are dry as well be able to put Anything you need to inside there, dry box, um, the, the, inside this dry box that you might want, remotes for the remote control, things like that. Lots of rod holders, four on each side of the console and two up in the front. So there's ten rod holders in this boat. I got cup holders everywhere you can imagine in this thing as well. Two eight and a half foot rod lockers, one on each side. Um, these are dry as well. I have a nice dry storage area here up front for all my tackle and bait and I have the under deck storage where you can hang the things that you want to get to quickly right there. Um, also a, a, another boat, another thing I have in this boat that I won't ever have a boat without are these day boxes. The day boxes allow you to put just the stuff that you're using right then that day inside here and access their shallow. The rods slide right underneath both of them. Another storage box up here for life jackets and throw cushions and things like that. On this side of the um, uh, boat, walk around this side over here, Jeremy. This side has a built-in live, uh, built-in ice chest over here just for drinks. So, you know, um, and these things, anytime you insulate, insulate with aluminum, there's a couple of months out of the year that it just doesn't hold up too well to the heat. But for eight, nine months out of the year, it'll hold ice all day in there. So a few months out of the year, you've got just a few hours. But it does keep me from most of the time having to put an ice chest in this boat just to keep my drinks in. Um, the boat's got outfitted with two power poles in the back and a Suzuki 200 SS. Runs about 51, 52 miles an hour, fully loaded. Uh, draws five, six inches of water at a dead rest. Fantastic rig. I absolutely love this boat. It's my favorite that I've ever done. And just wanted to share it with you guys. Check it out. Give us a call. We can do anything that you want in your boat. This is how I decided to do mine. But let me know how you want yours built. But I guess that ain't easy for a man Who lives in the city Born too many years in time I'll just work my 40, live through the stories of horseless cowboy rides through my mind.